Dear viewers, welcome back to the greatest Sufis. Before the break, we discussed that during the lifetime of Imam Shafi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, he gave a very beautiful answer to this question. What is the difference between Shariat and Tariqat? In fact, a very beautiful incident took place. What was this incident? Imam Muhammad Shafi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, you know, he was the great founder of the Shafi school of thought. Once a lady came to him and she asked a question to him. And the question was, Oh Imam, I would like to ask you, in my house, I have some arrangements for the lights. I am a, person, I am a lady wh whose income, source of income is that I stitch clothes for people. I see you and I stitch clothes. This is my source of income. So I have some arrangements for the lights. But sometimes in the night, I have to, wait, I have to keep working. Sometimes this arrangement of mine, the oil for that light, it finishes and the light distinguishes. So, in, coincidentally, next to my house is the palace of the ruler, of the khalifa, of the king. What happens is that this palace has many lights, even outside for security purposes. This light, which is arranged, which has come from the palace of the ruler, shines also in the, in the, in, in the back uh, garden of my house. And when I, in the night, my light arrangements are finished, my oil is finished, and my light is, uh, is finished, what I want to do sometimes is, I want to go out in the back garden, and in the back garden there is still light, even though it is dark, because the palace of the ruler, the palace has lights, and the light of the palace reflects in my back garden. And because of that light, my back garden, is, uh, it, it's like daylight and I am able to stitch and sew those clothes. So my question to you is, O oh Shaf, Imam Shafi, that this amal, this act of mine, if I, when my own light arrangements are finished, if I go to the back garden of my house and there I sew and stitch these clothes in the light which comes from the palace of the ruler, my question is, will that income which will be generated through those clothes which I will stitch at that time, at that moment, will that be halal or will that be haram? Will that be halal or will it be haram? Any when I am there in the middle of the night and the light shines from the palace, in that light which is not arranged by myself, neither am I stealing that light, but can I use this light? And will that income of mine, if I work under that light, Will that be halal or haram? Imam Shafi rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, he's so shocked when he was asked this question. He said to this lady, oh lady, before I answer you, first of all, tell me who are you? First of all, tell me who are you? Who are you? Because I want to know who are you asking me this question. This is a strange question. Normally people would not be bothered about this. It's not my fault if the light is coming from the palace. I didn't steal from it. So if it is coming, it is like this, my viewers. Nowadays, you know, people have Wi-Fi internet. If someone, one of your neighbors has open Wi-Fi, there, no, there is no key, there is no code to that. He didn't lock it with any uh, password. And you think, well, it's not my fault if the Wi-Fi is free and he didn't lock it, my neighbor, so I can still go on it. Then if it, it's, is it halal or is it haram? It's the same kind of a question which this lady asked him. So Imam Shafi said, who are you? She said, I am the sister of Bishar al-Hafi. Imam Shafi, when he heard this, he started weeping and shedding tears and crying. He said, you are the sister of a Sufi. You are from the family of Sufi, from the family of Ahlullah. And the Ahlullah are those who follow Tariqat, not just Shariat. They follow Tariqat. And they don't just follow Shariat, they follow Shariat, but they also follow Tariqat. And what is the Shariat and Tariqat? Shariat is whatever Allah has made haram. Whatever Allah has made farad on you, you do what Allah has commanded you to do. But tariqat is, you go and you do extra worshipping. Whatever Allah has made prohibited from, whatever Allah has made prohibited, you abstain from it. But those things which you think are not right, you also abstain from those things. This is tariqat. Tariqat is very difficult. Shariat, to follow shariat, this is Allah's commandment, this is the order. You have to do, you have to follow the Shariat. There is nothing special in that. 
if you follow the shariat because you are just merely fulfilling the duties and your responsibility towards your creator but tariqat is something else tariqat is that you love almighty allah so much that you abstain from those things which you think are doubtful which you think are doubtful you are in doubt whether this light are is right whether the means of income from this light are halal or haram tariqat is this that since you are not arranging this light it has come from the palace of the ruler this will not be allowed for you so according to tariqat this is not allowed yes according to shariat it might be allowed it is allowed so this is the difference between shariat and tariqat the sheikh we are discussing today sayyid murad shah rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi he asked his mother can i go and can i practice tariqat i would like to practice tariqat he already fulfilled he already was fulfilling the commandments of sharia of islamic law but now he wanted to do to do something extraordinary he wanted to do extra ibada and this is what he was asking his mother and his mother his mother permitted him and he traveled around the world sayyid murad shah to find a spiritual guide who would guide him on the path of tariqa my dear viewers we are going to now watch the documentary of the shrine of sayyid murad shah rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi al ma'roof sheikh abu al khair nolak hazari rahmatullahi alayhi and inshallah ladies after this documentary will continue with the teachings of sheikh abu al khair nolak hazari rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi